This is New Day Northwest. <laughs> now from the premiere of Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret uh, Larson. I'm going to laugh through this. Good morning. We have Shauna here from Archie McPhee's because they have a new rubber chicken museum. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Darcy Camden is backstage with our models. We'll be doing dads and grads presents in case you need cool ideas for that. And then welcome to the New Day Kitchen. This is pretty cool. We start off with fancy feasts you can make around a campfire on your next outdoor adventure. The Camp Out Cookbook features more than 75 inventive recipes to enjoy under the stars, plus camping hacks and how to build a campfire cookery kit. Please welcome the authors, Marnie Hannell and Jen Stevenson. It's so good to have you guys here. So good here. to have you, Margaret. Thank you. To our, welcome to our big kitchen. It's beautiful. But, but That's a lot more than this. you would have than camping. Right? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but you can do all this camping. Mm -hmm. So let's start, if you would, with the with the cookery kit, what do I need to have so I can do good stuff when I head outdoors? Oh, sure. So before we leave on our trip, we like to prep our camp cookery kit. Just so at the beginning of camping season, you can kind of set this up. You're ready to just put it right? in the car and go. Oh, so man. It's an old taco box, and it's got three tiers. And on the top, we have just your hot chocolate mix, your coffee, and your tea for the morning or the evening. We have cinnamon sticks for hot toddies or vanilla bourbon apple cider. Talk in my language, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few rubs that you have you know, ready to go on your meat. Oh, that's a good fire. idea. Yeah, like the, the delicious sage, rub. sage coffee exactly. rub for pork chops. Mm -hmm. This is so up. smart. What are these things? So here are just common spices that you might need. We've got a few kinds of salt, smoked salt, regular salt. We've got pepper and um, you know some chili flakes, just anything you might Yum. need to season your dishes um, around the campfire. And then in the bottom, we have all of our mixes. So we like to prep our mixes beforehand, and then when you get to the campsite, you just have to add your eggs, your butter, your milk, whatnot. So these are like pancakes, yes, that pancakes, kind of thing? pancakes, cornbread, buttermilk, biscuits, and then um, orange campfire cakes, which we're going to make in a second. And then, of course, um, some liquid fortifications. Your yeah. brunette, your whiskey, <laughs> very important. Good girl. And you let's know? see. No, that's not even heavy. Nope. No, it's not so that's easy to right take along. Very that is super yeah. smart. You can just put that in your car if you want to. That's right. Yeah, take yes. it wherever you're going to have dinner. All right, so we're starting with the shrimp, right? Absolutely. What is this dish? So this is an update of a Girl Scout camp recipe that okay. I made when I was Girl younger. Scout. I sure was. <laughs> Good. Sure, and summer camp, you know. So this is, um, we all know the traditional camp cooking method of wrapping up foods and putting it in the embers. And usually that's with ground beef or yep. green pepper. So we uh, freshened it up for our Northwest Pack. Pallets, um, and are doing what we call a tin foil oh. shrimp oil. So you I just love take the corn. That's yeah, always beautiful so good in the corn. Um, and you're just cutting that into rounds, and then half of it's off the kernel. Then you have some white onion, some chives, potatoes. Yum. Shrimp, of course. And those are so easy because you know when they're pink, they're done. So exactly. you don't have to worry about you that. You don't have to worry kielbasa. Butter. Yay. Yes, this is a nice forgiving recipe <laughs> for <laughs> any campfire. Because this yes. isn't yeah. perfect in terms of your and temperature. Then, and then you're just going for it with your old bay. We like like two, uh, two teaspoons, really a, a really flavorful, salty boil. And then finally, you want to get that steam going inside the packet. Right. So you're going to need your beer. I can't believe this. So you put <laughs> beer in to steam it. You what, sure what does do. That do? So it's just when the when the packet gets really hot and I, um, the steam works its way through all of the vegetables and seafood and sausage and cooks it all into this delicious combination. And then the key when you're crimping this is you just don't want to, you want to kind of fold more than crumple. Oops, I Just crumpled. to avoid steam okay. burns. You know, well, you're okay. That. You're so, okay. So, so you just, just fold it. Yeah, you just want to fold it in. So and then when you're opening it, you're not getting a steam burn. Got it. That yeah. makes sense. And so I just put and that in the fire. And you put this Simple in the fire for 15 to 20 minutes and it'll come out and be ready to eat. Could I do that at home if I wanted to and just Absolutely. put it on the grill? Absolutely. Yes. There's actually a recipe. lot of applications in the book for um, things to do at home. Perfect. So, yeah. What do you whipping up. Well, so everyone has a favorite meal at the campsite. Ours is dessert. You will know that when you read our dessert section, 12 <laughs> Kinds of Marshmallows. Yes. I love so that. These are the most. It's molten. such a useful book. It really is oh, a okay. must have if people are going to do any camping or even if you just want to hang out in the backyard, like the kids are spending the night and they're out in the tent in the backyard. This is great fun stuff to do with them. Exactly. That's how we wrote it. But um, these are the molten orange campfire cakes, and kids do love these. Oh my so gosh. this is a campfire classic that we kind of updated. Instead of box cake mix, we're using this beautiful, real molten chocolate mm -hmm. cake mix. So you start with, um, well, you'd want to start by melting your butter and your chocolate mm -hmm. in the pan. And these, we love to have chocolate chips in our camp cookery kit. So this well, cake is yeah. ready to go. 
It's very simple. And you would put that on the stove and you would let that, like we just put it right on the campfire and you yes. just let that simmer. It smells amazing. And so then you're going to go ahead and crack three eggs. We do like, you can use a bowl obviously, but we like to bring our four cup Pyrex because it comes in handy for more than just these cakes. It's great for pancakes too, because you can just pour them. And it's nice and right sturdy and as well. Exactly. You, can, you can get it hot, can't you, if you need to yes. warm something up in there? Sure. Okay. And Just anything when you're camping that works for more than one purpose is, of course, what you're pretty good. you most oh. have in mind. Now, yeah. how did you guys figure all this out? Was it with your own family? It was, Jen, well, Jen grew up camp, camping with your family, really, right? I did. We camped a lot, and it was a huge production. We had a massive camp kitchen. <laughs> yeah, my mom really went for it, so... <laughs> so you've done all the, the trying and failing yeah. and adjusting yes. for us so that we can use this stuff. And then I camped as a Girl Scout and at summer camp and then more with my husband. I have two young sons, so we camp a lot as a family now. But you've bumped this up. Oh, I mean, sure. This is not, generally, <laughs> you go camping and if you think, okay, that chili was fine, yeah. or whatever, but right. this is a whole new deal. <laughs> we take it no. to a new level. This is the mix from the kit, okay. and it's just um, two tablespoons of flour and half a cup of sugar. So That's it? That's very, it? Very, so very simple. So you just melted the butter and the chocolate. Exactly. You put the mix in, and mm -hmm. that's all you need that's to all. do. And now, what's so, happening with the oranges, though? Because I'm super excited. Oh, to see you're gonna that. love this. Very important step. <laughs> <laughs> so this beautiful cake um, has a, a special thing that is baked in, which is this little orange. That is amazing. That's so you just clear out the orange. We like mm -hmm. to use a melon baller. It's just quick and easy. I know mm -hmm. it seems like a lot to take your melon baller camping, but it's really not. It's very easy. You just mm -hmm. put it in, or use a grapefruit spoon. Yeah. That works too. So after they're all hollowed out. Then you're going to take your batter and you just fill each Plop one. Plop a little in there. Yeah, about two thirds. How amazing. I've seen an they egg fun. cooked like that, but I've never seen a uh -huh. cake cooked like that. So you can see it's just filled there and right. then you put its little top on. And you're a just more going foil. to mm -hmm. wrap it in foil. We yeah. use a lot of foil, obviously, yep. when we're camping. Foil is the key to camping. Yeah. And you do want to know what weighs up for obvious reasons. So we like to just crumple it with a little. Cool. And how long does it take to steam that? Roughly 30 minutes in the coals. You're just going to set them in the coals and then they'll slowly cook. You're going to smell the most delicious, just that orange really? oil mingling yeah. with the chocolate. Everyone's going to be waiting around the fire pit for them to come off. <laughs> it's true. I definitely am. Um, so once you start eating, just pop those in the fire. They'll be done when exactly. everybody's done with their meal. Mm -hmm. So are there any other essentials that we need to know about that we haven't thought of? Like I would never have thought to bring a Pyrex or a melon baller. So what I think, else? Uh, for us, the essential thing is to remember you're camping. The food doesn't have to turn out perfectly to be perfect. You're going to burn some of the recipes in the book. That's okay. We just really want you to have fun and have an easy time outdoors. That's great. Thank mm -hmm. you all very much. I'm going to stick my finger in that chocolate in just a moment. <laughs> Marnie and Jen will be at Book Larder tomorrow evening from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. You'll want to go visit them, but it's a great book, and thank you for sharing these recipes. Coming up next, a look at our sweet new furniture and what makes American casual. The Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux.